we've all been in that situation where it's just one of those days where maybe we slept late, maybe we were tired, something happened, we wake up in the morning, and even though we set our alarm, inshallah ta'ala, we, we wake up in the morning and we realize that the sun has already come up and we've missed Fajr. Now at this time, many people tend to just give up, either go back to sleep, or just let their, their day continue in that fashion. But I'm going to give you something different today. Three things that you can do, inshallah ta'ala, on the day that you miss Fajr. First and foremost, pray Fajr as soon as you wake up. The Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ is the Prophet ﷺ even told us that we should pray Fajr as soon as we wake up. Even if it is late, even if the sun has risen, we still pray Fajr as soon as we get up. Secondly, increase in your Sunnah and Nafal prayers. So let that Fajr be a drive for you to increase in your other acts of obedience. And especially the most important amongst them are the uh, prayers. A good example of that is the Duha prayer or what some people call the Ishraq prayer and that is what is that is the Sunnah prayer that we pray when the sun has come up. So if you didn't pray Fajr, if you missed Fajr, at least get up and pray the two rak'ahs of the sunrise or the Duha prayer. Number three, don't let missing Fajr be the reason for missing other prayers as well. What happens is that the shaytan will usually whisper to you at that point and say, you miss Fajr, what's the point of praying Dhuhr? What's the point of praying Asr? And so on and so forth. Missing Fajr should be the reason why you actually work harder to pray the rest of your prayers on time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.